Hi, I am Kaiser on two wheels and I have been test driving this thing the Yamaha 3CT So this is yet another 125 scooter, but this one has an extra wheel And listen I don't like the three-wheel concept. I don't get it. I think the bike is ugly. It seems to have been squished, okay? It seems the front looks like a car, the rear looks like a bike. I, I just... Uh, I, I don't like tricycles, period. But I have been riding this one. I rode it here to Lisbon. I came and brought the tree city to the city, because this is its environment. And I am very pleasantly surprised, because this is actually quite a nice thing. Okay, so first things first, you've got two tires at the front, 90 width, with a 14 inch rim. So, both tires being 90, that's what, 180 tire at the front? Uh, no, but there's a lot of grip at the front. Rear wheel is a 12 inch, uh, 120, no, 110 width, 12 inch wheel. You've got some space for your legs, it's not cramped, but it's also not that much, see? You've got a cubby hole underneath, which is now filled with stuff of mine, which I never get to manage to know how to freaking open. How do I open this? Oh, it's like this, see? My gloves in case it rains, a bag, documents, a helmet might fit there if it's not a very big one. You've got this little hook for the shopping bags and the rest is just like any normal 125 scooter because this is a 125 scooter with three wheels. It's low, it's comfy, it's obviously well built and this color is absolutely gorgeous. It's a very weird red, I doubt the camera can catch this, but for example here it's bright red, here it's very dark red because it's got some sort of shading on it. And having three wheels, it is ridiculously easy to ride slowly. Seriously, it's just retarded how nice this is to ride very slow. Let's let's see. Look. I'm basically sleeping here. Let's cut here to the front. It's more than obvious that I don't have any feet on the ground. Yeah? Now let's go through this one like this, and now like this, and yeah. All of this with no feet on the ground. It's so easy, it <laughs> feels almost like cheating. Also another nice party piece, you can ignore the floor. For the first time since I've been riding, I can completely ignore the ground. And I can also do this. This is very polished as asphalt. And I can just lean whatever I want and it will do it. Trying this performance wise, for example, in very fast sweeping turns is a bit retarded, but... Let's break for these. No, no. It's not exactly fast, it's a 1 to 5, but it's also not quite slow. So all in all, and I told the sales guy this, it's going to be a very big risk letting me try this one because I don't like the concept. I've told this, I told them this some 20 times. I don't like the concept, I think it's ugly and I am not going to like it. And he was adamant that I was going to like it. And well, you know what? I am going to have, ooh, I'm going there. I am going to have to say that he's right. I do like it. It's weird. Hey, look, ground. Let's lock the wheel. See? Lock, it slides, but there's not much of an issue. I locked the front wheels on that sand. The front wheel washed out. The wheels turned as a non-normal bike. But since I have two wheels, as soon as I released the brake, everything was fine and dandy again. So can you imagine riding this in the rain, when you get those oily water puddles? You'll just be not caring about that. 
and I've seen some sort of ABS disc at the front so I'm sure there's going to be a version of this with ABS and that's going to be motorcycling for dummies unfollowable or almost see what's in here <laughs> look oh a bump in the middle of a turn don't care <laughs> oh look another bump in the middle of a turn seriously don't care and where can I go here? Oh, I can do it like this. No, I can't. I'll have to turn around here. No feet, no feet, no feet, some feet. Oh, there's one thing. This does not have a dynamic uh, static balance. So if I stop, it will fall. Look, I'm going to stop here and put the side stand on. On the side stand. Now I'm going to remove the side stand like so and see if I can I'm grabbing the handlebar and dropping. See? It will drop to the ground. See? It's even off the ground there. So, this will drop. It's got three wheels, but it's not... Uh, if you stop, you are going to fall to the side. Okay? That said, it's great for these kinds of ground. Look. On what bike would you do what I'm going about to do now? Just not care about the ground. <laughs> Let's try braking here. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Actually, this has quite good grip. And turn. Counter steering works as usual, perfectly. See? Ow. <laughs> Look at this. This is the, bo the worst, worst ground you can have, and yet... You're completely cool, because if something skids here, you got another wheel for safety. And it does this also. See what I'm going to go down on? Can I go now? Thank you, guys. No issues. The rear wheel went sideways, but this one didn't. Oh, looky, looky. There's car park. Let's go up like this. <laughs> Let's go into a dirt car park on street tires. Uh, I didn't want to dirt it too much, but let's see if there's much grip here. There isn't. It doesn't have ABS, as you can see. And yet, I'm still going slow because I am still scared. I still don't fully trust it, but just look at this. I can feel the front wheels skidding one after the other. Whoa, that was <laughs> the inside one did skid a lot. Eh, no issues. Can I go up a sidewalk sideways? Like so? Like this. Let's see what happens if I go like this. What the? <laughs> well, let's do this again. Let's reverse, 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 reverse. Oh man, that's just mean. See that booted car? You know why? That one's booted, but the one in front isn't. Because you cannot park on the sidewalk. Those three are not on the sidewalk. They're after the sidewalk, so they're not on the sidewalk, so they're safe. That guy has got two wheels on the sidewalk, he's booted. Fuckers. Look, this is about the height of my foot, okay? I'm going to go at it sideways, like this. No issues. And the rear wheel went <coughs> skidded sideways. But the front wheels, no issue. Wow, let's do it again. And this is even taller. Let's go like this. See? And l l did you feel what happened to the rear wheel when I try this? Let's go again. <laughs> I'm amazed. Up, up, uh, sideways, kid, let's go. <laughs> I can do this with no feet. How cool is that? Oh, the brakes on this, really nice. I managed to do a stoppy on a 125 scooter. Yeah. The rear shocks are really, really small, but 
it's not uncomfortable. I'm really surprised. I'm not really sure if you saw that when I was doing this very quick walk around because there's not much to see, frankly. It's just a 1 to 5 scooter, regular 1 to 5 scooter. But the rear shocks, they're really, really thin. The spring is really thin. The shock absorber is like pencil thick. And so I was a bit, oh, this is going to hurt my bum, but it's not. I mean, I think it's not because the front wheels have so much suspension there that it becomes very comfortable. And it is, this handle is great. It's, it's uncanny how nice it rides. You know when you have these large ruts in the middle of the road and then you don't want to ride over them because it makes your bike feels all weird and shitty? You know about them? Do you realize I'm just completely ignoring a, a severely deep rut in the center? It's great! And I do not like tricycles. I hate it. I don't think they're real motorcycles, but this feels like a real motorcycle. And this is, I, I will very, very reluctantly have to admit, this is now for me the queen of the city. This bike will do anything in town. If I can just completely ignore sidewalks and just climb them at any angle, <laughs> it's fantastic just just that makes it awesome and then you've got the party piece in that you lean it just like a normal motorcycle and you don't feel you've got a weird contraption at the front you really don't if someone had blindfolded me set me on this one and told me to go I wouldn't notice it's got three wheels granted there's there's a different feeling at the front when you lean at some angles you feel there's something strange. You feel a lot of grip at the front. You never feel lightness at the front. It also feels, always feels heavy and planted. And that, so there you can see, there's something fishy about this. But look, let's do a stoppy. Look, oh, slight. That was just a very slight stoppy. So yeah, the rest of the bike is basically Yamaha quality. These plastics are fantastic. Okay, this wobbles a bit, but it's still a solid piece let's go rear yeah mirrors are nice it's a nice one to five scooter as a base and then it's got the party piece of the three wheels hey i can do a stoppy here let's see three two one i couldn't because i locked the front wheels <laughs> i locked the front wheels no issues whatsoever and so I brought you guys here because this has the bane of all motorcyclists, tram lines. And these are active tram lines and they are pretty deep. And so it would be horrible to actually be riding over them, right? Yeah, we usually fall a lot when we try to ride over tram lines. Hey look, my tire's on the tram line, but the other one isn't, so I'm cool. Look at this! La! La! <laughs> oh, I am ignoring tram lines on some completely horrible ground. And so, just ac actually the, the, the salesman dealership guy told me this. The whole concept of this bike is for this. He says there's actually two concepts. One is a bike for people who are afraid of riding bikes, so it's it's very easy going. It's fast, but it you do this and it doesn't jolt forwards. It's easy to ride, it feels nice, feels stable. It's everything for a complete beginner that's deathly afraid of bikes to actually enjoy. The second one is for when the road goes really bad, you've got some extra safety. And I told him, ah, an experienced rider will hate this thing. He will just not get the concept. But no, I like it. Look, I, I, I went full throttle, leaned over, over this completely crappy ground, over tram lines, no issues. Just turn and don't care. Look, I've got sand, tram lines, um, stony ground. Just move. Let's cross yet another tram line and 
run off. Oh, it's this way here. Okay, so it's not a fast one to five, but it's not a slouch either. Granted, this only has 500 kilometers, so it's a bit stiffer. But I'm doing 90 kph and I'm pretty damn sure the top speed would be around 110, 100. Should be somewhere around that. Aerodynamics wise, it's pretty nice. I've, I've gone downhill faster at 110 and the only wind you're actually getting is around the neck and the top of your shoulders and that's about it. So you're, you're well protected from wind, you're not being thrown back from the wind and you could ride for quite a long time on with a with this on the highway let's see if I can do a stoppy here three two one let's go Whoa. two stoppies <laughs> yeah thing is you, you need to push this quite a lot because look see and there's also a pretty cool thing I think they're linked because if I press this one harder this one also moves or rather see I'm just pushing it backwards and it's it's moving so I'm pretty sure these are linked brakes and this effect is probably because it's got an extra uh, jaw and an extra brake an extra disc everything by jaw I mean the, the thing that clamps the, the pads onto the discs so yeah, this handles nice, surprisingly nice, handles just like a bike, you can do some serious lineage on it and it always feels nice, like so, I'll show you on the few roundabouts, downstream, it handles fantastically in town, because it's slow riding with this is just retardedly easy, even though it doesn't have static balance, it will fall, but the third wheel does give you a lot of balance at the front, so you can just skip through the cars really easily around, around town. There's no, I need to put my feet down issue at all. And then come an open road and it rides just like a normal motorcycle. And it feels good. I've said before that Honda and Yamaha and etc. don't know how to make bad, a bad bike. They couldn't do a bad bike even if they tried. Well, that's the proof. They really tried. They really tried to make a horrible motorcycle. They did. They even put an extra wheel in. Still, <laughs> they did not manage to make it bad. So that's a fail or a win. I'm not really sure. So much stability on cornering at high speeds because you've got an extra wheel. So yeah, that's a conclusion. A third wheel is not always a bad thing. This one, it works. I hate to admit it, but it really does work. It's more like, instead of a third wheel, it's more like a menage a trois. Nicer in all aspects. Hmm. And with that bombshell, gauge her out. And so, here we are back at MJ Paiva, or this lovely machine. Few details that I forgot. Look how cheap this looks, it's really thin, but it works really nice. Probably because the front suspension is... There's so much things going on at the front, that the shock that comes to the rear is really soft, so it, it's comfy. The seat is a bit hard, my bum's a bit numb now, but I've been on it for one and a half hours. The engine, I would, I'm pretty damn sure this is the same engine as the Majesty. Because it does have the same sideways radiator and it just looks the same units. And so yeah, that's the Yamaha 3CT.